Gary. Slow down, Gary. Gary! Moron! Why'd you do it, Gary? Why not? I won! I tricked everyone! Starting with you, the head, the loser kids in town, and the prefects. Me! I won! You are sad, man. I might be sad, but I won your world, moron. And don't you forget it. You did all my dirty work for me, Hopkins. You're like a puppet, only dumber. Whatever. Let's finish this. You proved me one thing this year, it's slow. You'll never catch me, Hopkins. You're too trusting, Jimmy. From the start, you were pathetically naive. Got something for ya. Poor little Jimmy. All alone in big, scary bulwark. Under fire. Jimmy. And once we were friends, it was all so clear. You had your lust for power, but without intelligence to back it up, using you as a pawn was so wonderfully obvious. Let Jimmy have his fun. Let him play his childish little games with Ernest. Just another punk! You win, and you'll be sent away even quicker for beating up the head boy! Why'd you do it, Gary? Because I can! Because making little people like you and the morons who run this place eat out of the palm of my hand feels great! But I never did anything to you! You would have if I'd given you the chance! Face it! I'm smarter than you! Oh, congratulations! <laughs> You're smarter than me! You hate everyone, and everyone hates you! Genius! The head likes me! I tied him up, turned his dog to school into a battleground, got kids expelled, unfairly, put several others into therapy, and he still likes me! You're such a loser! <laughs> well, at least my mom doesn't make her living on her back! You're dead! <laughs> That's a low blow right there. You do not go there.
heard the whole thing. You're expelled. Come and untie me, boy. Yes, sir. <laughs> Sorry, didn't see you there. You know, I think I may have judged you too unfairly, boy. Yes, a little rough around the edges, but you're a diamond, boy. A diamond. Thank you, sir. Now take out the trash, would you, Hopkins? My pleasure. So it was you who took on this monstrous. We'll take out the wretch, trash, get it? it? Yep. Remember when Eric Bischoff got what fired back in 2005? A lone wolf. Uh huh. When Vizic well, was like to John Cena, no, take out the trash. To be honest, sir, I did have a lot of help from some friends. Like this girl, Zoe. She got expelled because she complained about Mr. Burton hitting on her. Burton? Well, he's fired. I hope he rots in hell. And a guy named Peter Kowalski, good friend of mine. Never heard of him. Yeah, well, he keeps quiet. He's kind of shy. Shy? The boy must be a genius. Why, well, he should be head of the school. Pete? Great idea. Now, about that letter to my mother. What letter? So you mean to tell me he ripped up the letter? Alright, we unlocked an achievement, graduate, for completing the final chapter, chapter 5. Finally, everything is sorted out, more or less. I mean, I don't want to say we're going to live happily ever after or anything like that, but life is certainly going to get easy. And that's the end of the game. He ends up with Zoe. I would have preferred if Jimmy would have ended up being with Mandy, but oh well. And that's the game guys I'm just gonna let the credits roll because I believe there's another chapter after this so I'm just gonna let the credits roll let's see if you can skip the credits no you can't skip the credits
Chapter 6, Endless Summer During Endless Summer, you can complete all the tasks that you may have missed. I'm not going to do that, but in the meantime, let's save up. Alright guys, that's it. That's the end of my Let's Play of Bully Scholarship Edition. Really hope you enjoyed this Let's Play. I had a really fun time playing this game on the channel. Make sure if you haven't already, make sure you leave a like, a comment, and if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button as well as hit the notifications button next to the subscribe button to get notified when I upload my videos. In the meantime, I will see you guys later.